Hello, in this video we will discuss about the polio. This is poliomyelitis. We will discuss about the physiology and their basically the mood of action, the infection site and how to infect this virus. So this is a polio virus. 70% cases are the uh, asymptomatic. It means not show the symptom. And mild symptom include sore throat and fever, headache and neck stiffness and paresthesia and common symptom is permanent paralysis and transmit through a person to person and food contamination oral to oral route and uh, this is a part and the disease may be diagnosed by finding the virus in the in, in the feces or detecting antibodies against its in the blood so this basically is the muscle weakened by polio and uh, throughout the life it will not up uh, repairable it will not recover so remember about that and that is why it is common in children we will discuss also basically here is you can see this is the muscle weakened by polio and this uh, diagram showing that is the shoulder muscle muscle behind arm and the uh, thumb muscle and contractures causing tight cords and on the other hand the muscle that uh, uh, start knee uh, uh, start knee muscle that lift foot so basically you can understand the different complication can be arise due to the infection uh, through a polio virus. So let's begin to understand the types of polio virus. So a type of the pathogenesis uh, we will discuss. So the paralytic poliomyelitis uh, which that is made up of spinal polio. It is common and the bulbar polio which that is a bulbar region 2% bulbar region means the pons spinal cord upper part of the spinal cord medulla and cerebellum involved this area is known as the uh, bulbar region while the bulbar spinal polio is 90% 19% and this treatment basically uh, uh, bulbar spinal means spinal cord involved also so the treatment is not found after the infection but the vaccination which that is the prevention for, to the children to provide the vaccination which that is prevent this disease prevent this infection so let's begin to understand the entry so first is to mouth when you will eat the contaminated food and go into the pharynx after the pharynx intestinal mucosa which that is involved and in this way the uh, basically is the cell of the gastrointestinal tract which that's contain a receptor this receptor is known as the immunoglobulin like receptor requires a uh, receptor cd150 so this cd150 contain uh, 150 receptor which that is a virus will be attached and the division of virus can be the gastrointestinal cells for about week and from where it spreads to the uh, tonsil the intestinal lymphoid tissue including the M cell of pyris patches so let's begin to understand the molecular uh, sorry the cellular pathway and how to infect and how to replicate this virus and how to uh, uh, how, how to uh, a damage the spinal cord so let's suppose this is the virus and this is a virus which that will be entered into the spinal cord cell for the paralysis and the neuro degeneration will be occur so in this way here is the virion virion mean complete virus containing a protein and RNA and bind with a receptor is known as a 150 uh, receptor at the 150 Swerberg unit which that is containing virion after this the uh, conformational transition will lead to endocytosis not but 
the uncoating and the conformational transition will be occur in this way the messenger rna will be released this is the viral rna this viral positive strand messenger rna will become and in this way uh, it will be bound with the ribosome for the translation and translation for what the translation of protein p1 p2 and p3 suppose we are giving giving the name and this is the endoplasmic smooth endoplasmic reticulum which that is used for the replication of more segment of rna uh, for viral replication so in this way here is the 5 prime to 3 prime direction which that is the transition uh, translation translation will be occur to produce the uh, several type of protein the p1 p2 and p3 this will lead to folding and the vp3 and vp1 and vpo which that is form and in this way here is the uh, promoter region which that is contain and in this way you can understand this will lead to form a pentamers this pentamer is the 40s so the pentamers is basically is uh, combined together to form a 75s empty capsid this empty capsid should be uh, uh, should be uh, take the rna this encapsidation rna encapsidation will be occur so the capsid will be surrounded within it uh, surrounded the rna so this is the provirion the non infectious 150s so this is the replication also occur in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum this is the replication side endoplasmic smooth endoplasmic reticulum in this way the replication will be occur 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime direction this is the negative strand but the previous was the positive strand which that is attached the vpg this vpg is promoter for the trap replication and again work and to produce a many many copies of the positive sense spread and in this way here is the rna encapsidation which that will capsidate and in this way you can understand this will lead to uh, combine with the rna will uh, form a complete the mature the provirion the non infectious 150s will become a infectious particle this is known as a virion and this complete infectious particle will be formed with uh, exocytosed and this exocytosis will lead to again infection and in this case the damage the tissue damage of the spinal cord cells the nerve cell so major side for the damaging is the spinal cord so i hope you make sense about this this was the um, overview of the polio polio myelitis